So we're interested in discussing the formal potential. We're going to use E0 prime to represent that. And we're going to use the formal potential in place of E0 in the Nernst equation whenever we have some new controlled set of conditions, something other than the standard temperature and pressure or unit activities. Now, why might we want to do that? Well, let's take a look at a couple of examples. For example, one, we might want to use a constant ionic strength. That will then give us constant activity coefficients. That allows us to use concentrations instead of activities. For example, let's suppose we have some oxidized form and it takes n electrons and goes to forming to form some reduced species. We know that the Nernst equation would say that the potential for th that system is equal to some standard state potential minus 0 0.05916 over n electrons times the log of the activities, which is just the reduced concentration times the activity coefficient for the reduced form, or with the oxidized concentration times the activity coefficient for the oxidized form. If these things are constant, we should perhaps pull those out and associate those with the other constant. So we might rewrite this as the potential is equal to the E0 minus 0 0.05916 over n electrons log of the ratio of the activity coefficients, and then of course minus 0 0.05916 over n times the log of just the concentrations of the products over the, re over the reactants. So this is a new constant. And so if we maintain these conditions, we have a new formal potential that's associated with these conditions so that we can say that the potential of the system is equal to the formal potential, which we can evaluate. And then we can just apply concentrations in our calculations for the potential of the system. Let's take a look at another example. Let's suppose that we're interested in maintaining a constant pH. And that's often done in biochemistry situations because we want to work at something other than uh, unit activity of hydrogen ion, which is equivalent to uh, pH equal to zero. Biochemists almost never are interested in that pH. Let's take a particular example. Let's take a look at NAD, which is a cofactor. It can be reduced by two electrons to go to the NADH form. Here's the structure of the NAD enzyme cofactor, and you can see that the positively charged NAD ring is converted to the NADH in the reduced form. So we would write the potential for the solution as equal to some E0 value minus 0.05 9, 1, 6 over 2 electrons log 
of the NADH activity over the activity for the NAD in the plus form times the activity of the hydrogen ion. Now, if we're going to keep the hydrogen ion and the pH constant, we should be able to pull that out and lump it with the other constant. So then we have E0 minus 0 0.05916 over 2 electrons times the log of 1 over the activity of the hydrogen ion and minus 0 0.05916 over 2 log of the activity of NAD H over the activity of NAD plus. Note that we have the log of 1 over the hydrogen ion activity. That's the same as minus the log of the hydrogen ion activity. Well, that's nothing more than the pH. So this term is pH. So we can say that this is a new constant that involves pH. This is a new constant. And we can call it a formal potential that involves pH. And in this case, the E0 prime is equal to the standard state potential at zero, a pH zero minus 0 0.05916 over two times the pH. In summary, our potential now is easily evaluated at this new pH, or that would be formal potential, minus 0 0.05916 over 2 electrons times the log of the activity of NADH over the activity of NAD. Now, we would like to change that to a different pH. So let's imagine that in the literature, we find that E0 prime is equal to 0.32 volts at uh, pH equal to 7. Let's ask about changing to a different pH. What is the E0 prime at pH 4. Well, in order to calculate this, we need to find the standard state potential. So E0 is equal to E0 prime plus 0.05916 over 2 times the pH. Well, we know that at pH 7, we have minus 0.32 volts for the formal potential. So if we add to that 0 0.05916 over 2 times pH 7, we get a numerical value of minus 0 0.1129. So at In other words, uh, the standard state potential is a negative 0.1129. So at pH 4.0, we find that E0 prime ought to be minus 0 0.1129 and minus a 0 0.0. 5916 over 2 electrons times 
the pH of 4 minus 0 0.1129 minus 0 0.1183 or a negative 0 0.23 volts 